Mike Brailsford of Brailsford Woodworks. Thank you for joining me back on my channel today. Today, I'm going to do another tool review, a first look at the Craig uh, Plunge Track Saw. Uh, I picked it up last week for my two big river table projects that I'm currently working on. I'm sitting on top of one of them right here. And... Um, it's going to require, the track saw is just going to make it a whole lot easier. The, the big table is 12 feet long, and I bought enough track so I can cut it the, the 12 foot length in, uh, in one shot. It's, uh, it's going to be two full slabs at 6 foot, and um, I, I just think that to get it nice and even, a track saw really is the way to go. So, I've done... I, so I did a lot of research on uh, the internet, watched a ton of videos on YouTube, and uh, to me it came down to uh, not a lot of choices. Um, as you all know, uh, you know how I feel about, if you watch my videos, you know how I feel about Festool. Um, might be a quality product, but I'm not paying those prices, just plain and simple. Um, and uh, then the Bosch, uh, not a lot cheaper, honestly, and it had some issues that, um, I mean, it would, pro it would be a good saw, but it, this particular saw had some things going for it that I really liked. So, without further ado, let's get it opened up and take a look at it. One of the things that was mentioned in many of the videos as being uh, they considered it a negative was the soft bag I personally have no problem with a soft bag in fact I'd prefer a soft bag when you get it into the shop and you want to store it uh, you either store it completely in the case someplace if it's a hard case or like me, I don't keep them in the cases in my shop because I use them around my shop. And I take them out, I keep them in a cabinet and take them out of the cabinet and use it. But if I need a case to take it someplace, I'd rather have this that I can fold up and tuck away someplace rather than another big box that I got to work around. Personal preference. All right. Okay, here's the saw. The dust bag, owner's manual. So one of the things that Craig has is this cord management system. Um, so everybody has universally liked that it's worked. And just as universally not like the fact that it seems that it... Uh, it attaches to the track in kind of a cheesy method. So, uh, let me take a look, give my opinion. So it's only attached to one point. You know, it, it, you know I don't know. I, if you don't take it off, I assume that it would bust off eventually. But everyone says that it does what it's designed to do very well. <clears throat> so let's check that out. So I'm going to do my cut. We'll see how the cord manages. And we'll see the quality of the cut here. Okay. So my first thoughts were as it was cutting through. Well, the cord did stay where it's supposed to. My first thought as it was getting, it, as it was cutting, was that hey, this dust bag's working good until it got about the last foot and a half, and then it just, I don't know, did it already fill up? Maybe. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. If you've got uh, a heavy amount of cutting to do, you might want to think of a different method other than having the uh, the bag on it. Maybe a maybe a vacuum or just cut it where it's not going to be affected that much. So, all right, I got to turn around and do uh, cut the other side. So when it came to the bag filling up, I totally forgot about the, the plastic that was in there when I trimmed the, 
the tracks. Um, so let's do it again. This time I'm doing the other end and uh, we'll see how the bag does with this one. Uh, the bag is empty it does great okay so now I'm going to join two pieces of track it comes with these um, connectors and one of the things I like about it it's got jack screws that you put into this one plate and instead of this sliding in and you screw down on your jack screws it doesn't rely on the jack screws to hold it in place the jack screws push up against another plate which will keep even pressure inside the slot. Nice and flat. Good to see. All right. Let's cut this first. This first long side of this table. thing must be clogged with it is it's clogged with uh, epoxy great but nevertheless it cut very nicely let's turn this around and get the the other long side So good news, <laughs> my uh, my fine Turbo One vacuum uh, dust extractor. Uh, actually, the uh, the hose works just fine on the back of this. So uh, I think that should work out great because it's got the 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 fine's got the accessory when you plug the tool in there. When you engage the tool, it'll turn the fan on, uh, the vacuum on automatically. And so let's let me get this one cut, and uh, that should square up this tabletop. Okay, so, you know, I, I got to say, uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with the operation of it. It works very, very easily. Um, I did not use the trap clamps. I relied on the friction, and in this case, it worked just fine. Um, so some of the pros about this saw is for one the riving knife I think that's awesome I really like that um, I love the ease of, of all the setups everything is nice and nice and handy uh, easy to get to 
Um, I do like the soft bag. Others might not like it. Some might like those Lego bags that come with other companies. Those Lego boxes that come with other, other saws. But uh, I prefer a, a bag that I could stow away and not worry about it taking up a ton of space. Um, the, the cord management a device that goes on the end of the track, it does the job. I would say that, like everyone else has said, yeah, it seems kind of cheesy. We'll see how long it'll hold up. Um, but the saw itself seems very rugged, seems very well built. Uh, with the amount that I'm going to use it, I'll use it when I do tables like this for the most part. And if I have to cut sheet goods, I think that'll be my new go-to tool for that. Um, it, will it replace my table saw? Absolutely not. Um, there's so much I do with my table saw that this thing could never do. Um, but, you know, overall, I'm pleased I got it. It was at a good price compared to other saws, um, and you know I think this is uh, I think it's worth the money. So with that said, if you like my content, take a look at some of my other videos. I'd appreciate it. If you think you've gotten some out of this, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that too. And leave me comments. I'd love to know what you think. If you think this saws garbage and you've got reasons why yeah i'll engage in that discussion um if you love this saw i'd love to hear about that too if you've got any other comment to make leave it also because i answer every comment i get and with that said please all stay safe Bye bye